Hello, everyone. My name is Lexi Andrews, and I'm the marketing manager here at Pixel. Thank you for taking the time to be with us for our third in a series of digital marketing webinars for e-commerce. We hope these presentations bring value to you and look forward to any feedback you may have. So our format today is going to be a brief 15 minute presentation, allowing time for any specific questions at the end. If you do have questions, you can put them in the sidebar to the right, and we will answer them at the end of the presentation. And with that, I'd like to introduce Colin McKenna. Colin specializes in the implementation of structured data or schema to enable special rich search results, features, and enhancements for e-commerce sites. Okay, Colin, handing over to you. Thanks, Lexi. So before we begin today, I just wanted to cover the six core digital marketing disciplines here at Pixel Media. Pixel Media offers a full-scale digital marketing services team, including strategic consulting, analytics, search engine optimization, paid online advertising, email marketing, and content. So today, we're gonna to talk about the benefits of implementing schema, top five e-commerce rich results, optimizing out of the box Salesforce Commerce Cloud schema, and implementation best practices. The benefits of implementing schema. So what is schema? Schema is a result of a collaboration between Google, Bing, Yandex, and Yahoo. Schema is used to help search engines better understand information on a page. There are two main benefits to adding schema to your website, visual and technical. Visual benefits can be seen on the Google search results. These are known as rich results. The technical benefits have to do with or better organizing your pages so that search engines can better understand what your page is about. This helps search engines better answer user queries in Google. Here's an example of the visual benefits of adding e-commerce schema to your site. As you can see in the top result, REI has the full package of e-commerce schema. Ratings, reviews, price, availability, at the bottom, product spec snippets. Now the REI listing looks a lot bigger than the switchback travel listing. That's because that listing is occupying almost double the size in real estate on the search result. REI is most likely gonna earn more clicks than their competitors based on some of these rich results. Technical benefits. The technical benefits of implementing a schema is that it organizes the data on your page so that search engines can better understand that data, therefore better understanding your products and helping answer user queries. Why does schema matter? Well, number one, it's considered a top ranking SEO signal throughout the SEO community. The main reason for this is that it helps increase click-through rate through the rich results. At Google I.O. 2017, Google came out saying that adding e-commerce snippets can help increase your click-through rate by 20 to 84%. This leads to higher conversion rates. Higher click-through rate generally means higher traffic, which in return leads to a higher chance of converting. As Google looks for more voice search options, it's important to consider schema. Google uses schema and featured snippets to help answer voice search queries. As voice search becomes ever more prevalent, it's important to invest in this. The top five e-commerce rich snippets. So here is a screenshot of REI, which includes the full package of e-commerce snippets. The gold stars represent ratings and reviews. The next to that is the price, and the orange is the availability. Above that, the breadcrumbs, which generally help to match keywords within a query. And below that are the product spec snippets. <clears throat> Excuse me. The product spec snippets are kind of a wild card here because there's no specific markup on these snippets. This is a result of Google scraping the landing page and finding the data that better serves the user's query. And we're really only seeing this in certain verticals. We could get a lot more specific about these product spec scenarios, so stay tuned for a follow-up blog in which we'll give more detailed information on how you can optimize your pages and earn these product spec snippets. 
we wanted to call out rating and review snippets because we believe rating and reviews is the most visually appealing of all the e-commerce snippets. Ratings and reviews is also the hardest to obtain. Earning these snippets requires that you implement a rating and review service on your landing pages. We recommend working with a third party to help implement these reviews. At Pixel, we work with Yapo. Yapo helps Pixel implement ratings and reviews on our client websites. Yapo understands there's on-page benefits of implementing ratings and reviews, and there's also off-page benefits. But in order to get those off-page benefits, you must mark up your page correctly with the right ratings and reviews schema. And from there, Google will qualify you for the gold stars. We've all seen the gold stars in Google, but you must mark up your pages correctly to earn these. Oftentimes, we see clients that have ratings and review services, but aren't showing the gold stars in Google because their pages aren't marked up correctly. So what does this look like on the live search results? Oops. Here's a screenshot of one of our clients search results, the company store. With the help of Yapo, we successfully implemented ratings and reviews as well as other e-commerce schema to the company store's product pages. Here you see a listing of the product listing ads at the top, a search ad, and then your first organic listing. In all three listings, you can see the gold stars. And this helps the company store provide extra credibility to users when they're looking to make a decision on where to purchase. The company store may have third-party competitors that don't have these ratings and reviews. This offers a huge competitive advantage to the company store to earn more clicks. Optimizing out of the box Salesforce Commerce Cloud Schema. Before we begin this slide, I want to give you a chance to look at the screenshot on this slide. We know there's a lot going on here, so take a second to digress what's happening here. Great. So at Pixel, we've helped many clients implement product schema. And there are four things that we notice come up over and over again where the schema may be existing before, but there needs to be optimizations made in order to fix that schema. Number one, existing schema breaking. Sometimes after launching on Salesforce Commerce Cloud, legacy schema is brought over to the new templates. And this legacy schema doesn't always fit the new templates. So there's errors within the schema preventing the rich results from showing in Google. Number two, PDP pages missing required properties. Now Google and schema.org have required properties in order to show the rich results. It's important that you mark up all of these required properties because you need them to qualify for the rich results. An example of required properties for aggregate rating is having, or sorry, aggregate offer is adding price, low price, and price currency. Without these, you won't qualify. So you need to have those marked up. There's also additional recommended properties, which if applicable, help Google understand your pages better. We'll get into these more in the next slide. Number three, complex PDP pages. Of course, not all PDP pages are created equally. Some are simple and have one variation master and some have many different product variations. You can see here in the screenshot from Hager, the Cool 18 Pro Pant. And the Cool 18 Pro Pant can be refined by color, waist, and length. Each of these refinements has its own unique SKU and product ID. We recommend marking up each of those variants in order to provide Google with the best and most accurate information. This can often cause errors. Since you're marking up a large amount of variants, you need to be careful to, to separate these variants by offering a different SKU or product ID. Number four, marking up each template. A lot of the times our clients are dealing with large catalogs with many different product types. Sometimes the products require a simple landing page template. Sometimes it needs to be more complex like the example here. It's important that you mark up each landing page with the correct schema markup so that all of your products can qualify for the rich results. Implementation best practices. 
So we always recommend starting off with an audit. You want to get an idea of the current status of your schema. The best way to begin this is by going to Google Search Console and under the enhancements report, looking at the product schema. Here, you can see what the errors are, the warnings, and what's working. It's important to benchmark this so that when you go to implement the changes, you have something to size that up against. This is a great opportunity to identify new areas of rich results and what you might not already have. For example, if you are missing price or availability, you can add those to your business requirements document so that you have those going forward. This is also a great opportunity to identify which language you want to use going forward. A lot of Salesforce Commerce Cloud templates use microdata to mark up the pages. So it's often difficult to switch over to JSON-LD once your page is already in microdata. Google does recommend using JSON-LD, but oftentimes that might be more of an overhaul than it's worth. We recommend switching to JSON-LD where applicable, but using microdata and updating microdata if your page is currently using microdata. Implementation best practices. We recommend working with a dev to help build out the requirements that you need going forward to implement an e-commerce schema. It's important that you cover all the required properties from Google and schema.org within these requirements. We also recommend including any recommended properties that might be applicable to your products. Some of this might be product description, URL, et cetera. So where applicable, add these. You wanna give Google the most information about your products so they can best serve user queries. Of course, QA everything. Test before, test again, and test after. While your developer is implementing these changes to the template, we recommend using the Google Structured Data Testing Tool to test the changes that they have made. Make sure all the required properties are met before pushing live. Once you do push live, make sure to test again using the same tool. You can also do a live test by just Google searching one of your product names and seeing the rich results in real time, like the example to the right. Once all the changes are made, make sure to benchmark the changes against the original report that you ran in Google Search Console. You, here you can see the trends and the errors and the warnings hopefully going down, and you can identify any additional errors that may, may, may be, need to be adjusted. To the right, we have a screenshot of what one of our clients, Hagar, was able to obtain once we successfully implemented all the e-commerce schema. Now the mobile screenshot here looks a little bit different than the desktop one. The main difference being that the mobile results pull in the product image. So it's important to have your images optimized so that they look good in the Google search results. Now this listing, especially on mobile, really stands out from someone who doesn't have schema. Having an image in the search results is a huge attention grabber and is definitely gonna lead to more clicks. We've covered a lot today. So we wanted to make sure any of the terminology that you may have heard for the first time today is covered in this glossary. If you have any additional questions on terminology that we've covered, feel free to reach out with any questions. I wanna thank you for your time today. And at this point, we'd like to take any questions that may have came up throughout the presentation. Lexi? Okay, so it looks like we have a few questions. Um, so the first one is, how long does it take for the schema to start showing as rich results in Google? Good question. So generally, it takes about one to three weeks after you push the changes live for Google to recrawl the pages and start showing the rich results. Now, for some of our bigger clients that have large crawl budgets, we've seen the changes happen overnight. So it really depends on how often Google is crawling your pages. But generally, it's going to be about one to three weeks. Okay, perfect. Uh, the next one is, what are some other types of schema that would be beneficial to e-commerce? There are many different types of schema out there. Um, in e-commerce specifically, if you're a local retail shop, there's plenty of different local business schema that we recommend, especially if you have physical retail locations. 
organizational schema helps Google understand more about your business and the history of it. There's also product and breadcrumb schema you can add to category pages so that you have some rich results on your category page listings. Awesome. Well, I think that is all the questions we have for today. So I um, want to thank you all for listening. If you have any other further questions, feel free to reach out and we will be making this presentation available um, in the follow-up email and we look forward to having you on the next one. Thank you so much. Thank you.